Hey guys, guess what I want to try today is a uh, Swiss volcano stove. I've had my eye on these things for a, a long time and I uh, never did order one. <clears throat> However, a friend that I met through YouTube, uh, actually from selling fatwood, I've I done some, i done a custom fatwood order for him and he really appreciated it. Uh, Quite an interesting fellow. He's former military. Uh, he wasn't in Swiss military, but uh, he did use the same type of stove while he was in the service. The identical stove, except this one's got the Swiss markings on the bottom of it. Uh, he also forges knives, and uh, he sent me this little, this little Japanese cured. Karadashi, Karadashi, I'm not real sure on the pronunciation. Small knife with a single flat bevel. Very handy little knife. I carry it a lot. Use it a lot. These stoves are pretty cool. Uh, I know they're supposed to be really efficient at getting getting water boiled. Comes with a cup, a cup that nests on the top. And I believe this is a one liter bottle, aluminum bottle, and then this is your stove. Set some things down. And this is like, be like the handle for the stove. It's got a notch in the back where you slide that in and that creates a stop for the bottle. And hold the bottle up just enough at the bottom. And then it has an area where the gases can go up on the inside around the bottle and, it, and uh, get your water boiling faster. I've had this thing for about a month and haven't had a chance to try it out yet. And uh, so let's give it a go. I'm going to make one of, the, one of the kids' favorite things to have out in the woods is uh, chili and ramen noodles. Not too bad. The kids really love it. So let's get that going. I'm going to go ahead and put the handle in place. Looks like a pretty solid spot. I don't know if there's a proper way to get these things lit. I, honestly, I don't think there would be. I'm going to stuff it with some leaves. Put some smaller twigs on top of that. And let that burn down and I'll start I'll put some larger some larger twigs in it. I might be putting too much stuff in there at once. So we'll figure it out. I'm gonna cheat and use a lighter. I usually do everything with my uh, barrel rod. But we'll be a little quicker at it today. Maybe. <laughs> the leaves don't want to stay lit. What's that? Yeah, it looks like it's going to get going. Yeah, we can put that there. Look that thing burn. <laughs> I hope I didn't put too much in there. It'll be kind of hard to get the bottle in there. That'll work. Is it 
the bottle choked it down quite a bit. It's already starting to form some bubbles and it it's only been just a couple minutes. When I do this, I like to use two packages of, uh, of the ramen noodles and just one package of seasoning. It seems that when you put both packages of seasoning in there, uh, along with that chili, it's just too salty. We got a, not a rolling bowl, but we do got a bowl going. Pour the water to the top of the noodles. I guess that bottle does kind of choke down the airflow because now it flamed up pretty good. It's my first time to use that stove. I know I've already said that, but uh, I don't know if I have the right diameter sticks in there or if that really makes much of a difference. So if any of y'all know what work, works best in these stoves, just tell me in the comments. But, uh, it seems to work pretty good. I, re I really like it. Good way to boil water without using a whole bunch of wood. Come on, we gotta mix it up a little bit. As soon as I, as soon as I can, I'll give you some. I'm gonna get my water bottle out. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of unstable. I thought I had a nice flat spot. Right here. Another good thing about this stove is you can move it around. You know, it's got a fire in it. Another really cool feature of these stoves is that you can use a regular pot to cook on top of them. It works really well. Here's a little tip for doing dishes without any water. Chili is one of the worst things to try to clean up after you're done eating. Golly. <laughs> this 
size of those earthworms? Top. <laughs> hey, we had one in the cup. I was not going to try to clean the. Yeah, we we're going to try to clean the cup with uh, with earthworms. <laughs> Back up. You want to see it? Here, you can't hit my tripod. Golly, there's five worms right there. Hold him. You gotta hold your hand up. There you go. Usually I still have a fire going and I'll uh, I set the pot back on the fire and get it hot to sterilize it. Good way to clean your dishes without using any water.